Welcome back. Next up, I'm gonna make the dessert for you that I make when I really have to impress someone. What I'm gonna make is a chocolate cigar. People associate cigars with opulence and extravagance and wealth, and it's sort of a bit of a play on that. But what we're gonna make it out of is chocolate, so it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. To get started, we need to make the shells, which is gonna form the base for our cigar. For this, we'll need our spring roll pastry and a round bit of wood. The best thing I find for this is an old uh, wooden spoon handle, one you're not gonna need anymore. So this bit of uh, spring roll pastry is a bit big, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Also, we're not gonna need all this length, so I might as well trim that up now as well. So begin just by rolling it. You gotta make sure when you do this, you roll it really tight. And then when, when you're getting near the end, give it a bit of egg wash. Make sure it's nicely sealed, and then we'll get on to our next one. So once again, near the end, give it an egg wash. Now, for the next bit, we need to fry these off so they're gonna be nice and crispy. So just when you're cooking these, make sure your oil's on a really low heat because the last thing we want with these is for them to puff up and unravel. So just on a nice low heat, in they go. And just make sure you keep turning them around so they get evenly cooked. So while they're cooking, it'll give us a chance to whip up our cream for our filling. You've got to make sure that when you uh, whip your cream, you whip it really, really well because you want it to be nice and firm inside so it doesn't melt out the ends. So once your cream begins to thicken up, then add your chocolate and your ginger. And then when your cream's fully whipped, just pop it to the side. So once your spring roll cases have come to a nice crispy brown, take them out of the oil. Once it's cooled down, you'll notice it's a bit easier to get off the surface. Just give it a bit of a twist and that should just slide out the back with any luck. But as you could imagine, you'll probably have a few casualties along the way. So now that we've got our tubes there, we need to look at our cigar leaves. So for that, that's why my cooked puff pastry is here cooling down and ready for action. So with your puff pastry, just break it off into chunks and then into a blender. Try to rip it up a bit just to make your job a bit easier. And try not to use, lose too much of this really flaky stuff because that's the best bit. So once your puff pastry is in, time for your cocoa. And then lid goes on, and we want to turn this into powder. Give it a bit of a shake. You don't want to absolutely obliterate this into a really fine powder. You just want it to be broken up nicely and nice and fine, but you don't just want to let it go for hours, so. So that looks pretty good now. Back onto your tray. So for your next step, we need to fill our cylinders. So this is where your chocolate cream comes back in. So into your piping bag. And hopefully by now your, uh, your cases have cooled down a bit as well. So making sure You've either got a really fine nozzle, or if you've got a disposable piping bag like me, just cut it nice and fine. So 
So now we're ready for our next step. We need our golden syrup, our cigar leaves, and a clean plate. So this next bit can be a little bit messy, but we'll try and be nice and neat for the cameras. So just paint your cigar. Try not to leave any bare spots. Even give the ends a bit of a dab. And then onto your cigar leaves. Now if you clean hand, give it a roll. Make sure you pick some up and drop it on there as well because some of the finer bits are down the bottom and they'll fill in your gaps nicely. So once you've made these a few times, you know, they're not as hard as they seem. It's all a little bit of practice makes perfect. But I think they're a pretty impressive dessert and they'd be great for finger food as well. And they're a little bit nicer than just serving a biscuit with coffee as well. But if you want it to look a little bit more authentic, then grab yourself a box that you can try and pass off as a cigar box and get them on in. If you've got a few dodgy ones, make sure you put them down the bottom, like I am. So I think these look pretty cool. But while we've been having fun here today, there's people around that can't even get themselves a meal. So we're going to go down to St Mary's House of Welcome next and see what they're doing about hunger in Melbourne.